Hi guys, it's Char. Welcome back to my channel, Crafting Up a Storm. Today I have some thrift store finds that I was able to convert into some very easy and inexpensive risers um, for displaying your craft projects. At the end of the video, I also have um, some sneak peeks at some Dollar Tree items that I found that I was actually very excited about. Some are summery and I can't wait to get crafting with them. Hopefully you enjoy this sneak peek as well too. Let's get crafting. For my first riser, I'm gonna take this, I believe it's a candle holder or a votive holder that I got at Goodwill for 50 cents and then I'm going to put it together with this plastic plate. I believe it was 50 cents as well from Goodwill. I like the candle holder with the gray flowers. I picked it up just so that I'd have the flowers. Um, so I'm not gonna paint it, but I'm going to paint the plate I'm going to use Waverly chalk paint in Elephant. First, I'm going to clean the plate off really good. And then I'm going to start painting. If you noticed earlier when I kind of flipped the plate over, it's black on the bottom. And I had planned on just leaving the bottom black. But I believe I ended up painting the entire paint uh, plate with this Elephant gray paint. And then I put a coat of Mod Podge on it, I believe, as well. Yeah, see I had it uh, black and I ended up changing it. You'll notice later when I glue it down, it's gonna be gray later after I glued it I, I think I ended up painting it gray to cover up the very edge of the bottom of this um, candle holder that's glued right to the plate it doesn't have flowers on it it's just plain so I thought I'd take this um, it's a cord from Hobby Lobby. I believe I picked it up during one time they had their 50% off um, sales. I think it's cord on a wire or something like that brand. And I just am going to glue down an edge and wrap it around just to cover up that plain white piece. It took a few wrapping, um, a few layers of wrapping just simply because it's angled so it wanted to show in between and I didn't want any of the white to show. Um, so I just did a couple of layers to make sure it was good and covered. It didn't have to be completely flat or um, specifically neat, but I just didn't want any of the white to show through. And that's how it turned out. Very easy, maybe a dollar, a little more with the cord, but came out very cute. For this next one, I found a very heavy glass, I believe it's a candle holder. It was $4.99. I know I got it for half price, so I paid $2.50 for it. It was good and thick and heavy. First, I painted it white. I used white chalk paint. and made sure I got on the edges and um, around everything. 
it did have this divot in the top well technically the bottom I don't know um, and I did kind of fill that in I was a little worried about it after I bought it and I was getting ready to paint it that that would be in the way or distract and I thought about trying to fill it in but it hasn't it works just fine I anything that I've been putting on it it you know nothing's gonna fall in there so and I just completely covered it with um, chalk paint then I wanted to distress it quite a bit and I took some gray I believe it's uh, elephant chalk paint and I just dry brushed it everywhere I just continued to do it and continued to go around until I had the effect I wanted I, I it ends up being probably more gray than anything which is what I wanted I just added layers I just kept going around and adding layers in between the layers I would sometimes kind of buff it a little bit to get rid of some of the lines um, but I just kept adding layers and wherever I wanted it to I kind of let it kind of thicken up for shadows anyway just distressed it really well and then here I'm just kind of buffing it out and rubbing it so it ended up more um, gray than white but that's what I wanted and I didn't do anything else to it you could I could have put twine around the uh, stem of it I could have painted the rounded part of the stem a different color I just left it as is this next riser I think ended up being my most favorite I found this iron voltive holder at Goodwill and this trinket dish and I thought they just looked perfect together they couldn't have been maybe two dollars a piece I love the color on the candle holder so I want to paint the trinket bowl to match I started with this Waverly chalk paint in cashew and I'm going to coat that entire trinket bowl. I like the green kind of mossy color on the outside. It's, uh, it's very pretty. However, I just wanted to cover everything and make everything match. So I believe I had to coat the inside um, and the outside probably at least two layers just to cover up the words and cover up that green and get a good solid um, base but this chalk paint really covers well so this cashew color is a little bit darker than the base but we're gonna take care of that first we're gonna distress it with some Waverly antique wax in um, well antique wax and I'm going to use a flat fan brush and go in and try and match that distressing that I showed you on the candle holder. I went in pretty heavy handed. I kind of was a little um, heavy with the blotches, but we're going to take care of that because once we distress the inside and the outside and get a lot of good color, and texture then we're gonna go back over the top of it and we're gonna add another layer to the top so all of those blotchy areas just hold tight I know it looks kind of like a hot mess right now we're gonna take care of that I just kept going until every part of it had some sort of layer of this distressing mm, 
and the edges I, I paid close attention to the edges and and got a good nice coat you can see it's pretty blotchy after that I went in and I didn't paint the very bottom where I was going to glue it to the candle holder I left that uh, clear now I'm gonna go in with some ivory it's a lighter color and I'm gonna thin it out a bit and I'm just going to tint the top of it I'm just gonna dry brush some of this ivory over the top of it that's gonna take the color back a little bit make it match that candle holder a little bit more and, um, and give it some dimension now I'm using liquid nails and I'm going to go around the edge of this candle holder all the way around in a circle. You can put this down and then add a little hot glue and the hot glue will hold it in place while the rest of it dries. But I just put a layer of this liquid nails around and then um, this trinket bowl is pretty heavy so it sat down on the top of it pretty well. I may have, I think I also set something in it like one of my bigger paint jars or something heavy to hold it um, at least overnight and let it firm up. And that was it. A lot of good pressure, get a good squeeze on it and then just let it adhere. And I think this one came out very, very cute. Like I said, I think it's my favorite. This last riser, I, I absolutely love. And it was the easiest. I found this old, I believe it's a lamp stand, because it's got the weight on the bottom. I found that at the Goodwill, and this wonderful piece of pottery. They couldn't have been more than $3 a piece. And I cleaned them up, both of them, wiped them really good and clean to make sure I got any dust or um, dirt off of them and took the sticker off. And this lamp stand, it's metal and it's kind of banged up and chipped and distressed naturally. And I love it. I look at all that just wear and age on it I couldn't I couldn't get it that to look that great myself so I'm just going to keep it exactly as is and this piece of pottery sits right exactly perfectly on it it just has a bend in it so I'm going to straighten that out and that fits right down on there and this pottery is it's an unusual uh, color and but I mean it's got that like orange dot on the outside I think it has two of those and it's got some on the inside it's just a very unique piece and I really like it I took some more of the liquid nails and I went around the edge and that is lamp piece is just going to sit right on it. I did end up going around the outside edge to put a layer just to make sure it held because that lamp piece was kind of a thin edge on the top. And see I just made sure it was good and coated. I let that dry for quite some time. I think it was several days. And then I just came in with a straight edge and I, because it wasn't smooth, I smoothed it out with my spray, straight edge and kind of got some of the ex, extra pieces or the rough pieces off and then I um, filed it down with a nail file made it a bit more smooth. Because that liquid nails 
is a different color. I'm gonna go in with some truffle chalk paint and I'm gonna paint it a lighter color of brown first. Just fill in all the little gaps and, and crevices. It seemed like it was going to match that brass stand pretty well. It's a little bit light, however, but I like that I went in with this layer first. Afterward, after that was dry, I went back and I just did the entire edge, the very bottom lip of this pottery piece in black chalk paint. And that hid any of the glue in between. It also made that in, entire edge piece unified. If I just painted the glue, I don't think it would have it would have looked as good. And then I went through and kind of um, wiped it down with a, a wipey. But this would be great just to throw your keys in, um, but you can use it to put flowers in. It came out great. I found some really great flowers. I love these blue hydrangea. I picked some up. I'm not always a big fan of Dollar Tree flowers. Um, every once in a while they have something great. I love these yellow bright, aren't they summery um, yellow flowers? I don't remember what kind they are, but I love them. And this Dollar Tree that I drove to is not my normal Dollar Tree. They have so much more craft supply at this one, so I'll go to it every so often. Look at these yellow cattails. I love them. So many flowers and many that I would use. I was really ready for the bright colors I used so much pastel for spring that I was excited to see some of the bright yellows and almost kind of sunflower look. But so many great flowers to choose from. I also found some moss. Very excited to find. I found reindeer moss and green floral moss. I could only find the uh, kind of gray brown dry the dry floral moss at my store so I picked up several packages I also found these really cute they're called floral balls they're very tiny I only found one package but wouldn't that be great to use in in a garland with um, with something else I love it Always needing supplies, I picked up craft sticks and square blocks. But look at these styrofoam. I had not seen these before. They're very sturdy, very lightweight and firm. Um, could probably be easily used when in crafts you would use the plunger sticks. They're, they were great. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them, but I picked up two. Speaking of styrofoam, they had a lot of different styrofoam shapes. Um, there's those sticks and some cones. And uh, they had these flat half circles. Some more cones down at the bottom. There's these uh, flat rounds, a lot to choose from. All right, I bit the bullet and found a wooden snake. They didn't have any available at my Dollar Tree, but I picked this one up. I don't know if I'm gonna make a wreath or use it for handles or 
I don't know what I'm going to do, but I got one. And wall decals, I love this bee happy wall decal. Look at those bees. They're so big. And here's some eucalyptus with some bright yellow flowers. Remind me of the flowers that I had earlier. And this decal I have seen on different DIYs, but it's so versatile and so great. It's just gold, some gold like leafed. I love that bee. That will be in a project. Speaking of bees, they had some ribbon. This has little bees and little honeycombs and little yellow flowers. And it says amazing and brave. All sorts of writing on it. And it's the uh, satin ribbon. I don't know if it has a wire or not. I don't think so. And then they have the honeycomb ribbon as well. And then I got this black ribbon to go with it. Later I found some yellow as well. Here's some wallpaper. I've seen this in different um, DIYs, but it's so great. Uh, look at this blue. I am so excited. Wouldn't that be great on a tray, summertime tray? with little lemonade glasses on top. I love that. I'm excited. Speaking of a great blue pattern, this was at the front when I came in. It was a display. All sorts of really great blue and white flowered dishes. I didn't get any. I just don't have room for them, but I love it. They also had some new material. That is gonna be perfect for summer. They had this watermelon pattern. Very bright, very festive. And I love this lemon pattern. Later, I found a pineapple pattern. But I love these. And this is such a cute little um, sign. I need it for hanging my keys, but I love the scroll on the top. So I'm going to have to use that in a DIY. I love it. It hangs on the wall with the hook. These are so great. Glass knobs, you guys. I found them at this Dollar Tree. I picked up two of the light green and one of the clear crystal, but they had several different colors. I'll show you in a minute. They had pink, I believe, and a different kind of uh, round crystal. I was excited. Aren't these wonderful? All these antique vintage glass knobs. So great. Hope you enjoyed this sneak peek. And if you liked this video, consider hitting the thumbs up button and subscribing to my channel. As always, keep crafting. Bye-bye.